Good morning and welcome to our Monday morning Time in a Word devotional. Again, I'm Pastor Will, and again, it's always great having you with us here today. I'd like to begin our time together this morning by reading to you again from the book of Acts, Acts chapter 2, verse 42, where again it reads, They, that is the early believers, devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to prayer. May the Lord bless the reading of his holy word. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for another opportunity of being able to come before your holy word. Lord, we would pray that by and through the assistance and guidance of your Holy Spirit, you would open our eyes to the truth you would have for us to learn here today. And that, Lord, that you would grant us the desire to apply these truths to our daily lives. We thank you, Lord, that you hear our prayers. And we do pray this in your most holy name. Amen. We have been spending our time in Acts chapter 2, verse 42, these last few times together on time in the Word, looking at some of the practices of the early church. We have seen that the early church was devoted to the teaching of the Word of God. We have also seen that those early believers were also devoted to fellowship. Fellowship with God and fellowship with one another. And they were devoted to worship. This morning, we also see, from what I just read, that the early church, the early believers, were also devoted to prayer. We read again in our text, they devoted themselves to, and at the end of the verse, it says, to prayer. Prayer, a fitting practice for a church that turned the world upside down for the glory of God. Due to the fact that prayer is indeed a powerful tool for good in the world in which we live. This morning, I'd like for us to spend some time considering why prayer is so important and why prayer is so powerful. So why is prayer powerful? Well, first of all, prayer is powerful because it reminds the believer that there is a God. Prayer reminds us that there's a God. I mean, if there was no God, I mean, why pray in the first place, right? My friends, it is this knowledge that there is a God that gives us hope. You see, it tells us that we have a God who is in control, a sovereign king who is in control over all. That being that life is not left up to mere chance, but left up to an almighty, all-knowing, all-loving God. And my friends, it tells us that this God that exists is a God who is always present among his people. He's there with us, hearing our prayers, the prayers we speak with our mouths and the prayers that are deep within our heart. He is there hearing our prayers, seeing what we go through in this life and ready to act on our behalf. And my friends, it reassures us that we have a God that we can trust, that we can trust to bring about what is best for his children. Prayer is powerful. Prayer is also powerful in that it is key. It is key to forming the believer more and more into the likeness of Christ, our Lord. Did you ever notice that the, more, that, the, that the people we tend to hang out the mo most with are the very same ones we become more and more like? I mean, our parents knew this truth, right? That's why so many of our parents would often try to encourage us to spend time with, quote, quote, the good kids, the kids that get into trouble. They knew the old saying that, you are who you hang around with. 
And that is so true. My friends, the more time we spend with Christ in prayer, the more like him we become. Thinking his thoughts. Acting as he would act. Speaking as he would speak. Yes, we all know that it is the Holy Spirit who forms the believer more and more into the likeness of Christ. And it is the same Spirit, it is the same Spirit who uses our prayer time to bring that about. Now the question for us here this morning is, who are we spending our time with? May it be Jesus. That the word, think what the word would be like. Think what the word would be like if more believers would make time for Jesus on a regular basis in prayer. I believe it would, it would change the world in the most dramatic, powerful way. Prayer indeed is powerful. Well, that's about it from here today on Time in a Word. I hope and pray that you have a great day. Hope to see you next time on Time in a Word. Until then, blessings. Catch you later.